CNBC Africa special highlights of some of the memorable moments from Walter Smith's commissioning of its 5,000 barrels per day modular refinery and of course the groundbreaking ceremony of its 45,000 barrels per day refinery here in Ohaji, Egbema, Imo State, southeastern Nigeria. Many thanks to you for joining us. I am Christy Cohn. West Consortium in Delta State, Nigeria. Apart from what we are doing here, we are also investing in Nigerian content. So Ready for Startup was October 2020, exactly 24 months after that red end that you saw there when the construction started. So when we say we can deliver in 24 months, we actually mean and can demonstrate that we can deliver in 24 months. From sticking to timelines despite a raging pandemic, to contributing to Nigeria's refinery needs and job creation. Walter Smith Refinery and Petrochemical Company's latest projects proved to be the prime focus as representatives of the Nigerian state, petroleum sector, collaborators and stakeholders came together to celebrate a milestone while concurrently making expansion plans. The project, commissioned in the of a 5,000 barrels per day refinery and groundbreaking ceremony of a 45,000 barrels per day refinery was commissioned by Nigeria's President Mohamedou Buhari, who joined the event virtually from his Abuja office. I hereby direct the Honorable Minister of State of Petroleum Resources and His Excellency, the Governor of Imo State, to cut the chain on my behalf. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is the first ever 100% privately owned refinery in Nigeria. And the first refinery in Imo State. What a remarkable day indeed. We are celebrating the coming to fruition of the major policy of Mr. President, the development of local refining capacity, the development of modular refineries. I want to tell you that this is only the beginning. After now, there are a lot of other refineries in line to be commissioned. And we are hoping that very soon the in-country capacity to refine will be up to as much as 250,000 barrels per day. And we have seen that Western Smith is one of the very promising national companies, domestic companies that we know. They have promised, they have kept to their promise, particularly for delivering on this project on schedule. And also the promises that this company represents for the rest of us, so that the ultimate objective of government to deepen local refining including local value to our economy is realized. This refinery creates job opportunities at current capacity. This refinery will utilize about 1.8 million barrels of crude oil. At the completion of the expansion works, this will increase to more than 16 million barrels of crude and condensate every year. NCDMD is very excited that the refined products from the refinery are already sold out with some of the interested optics placed on the waiting list. With 30% equity investment in the project from the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, Executive Secretary Simbi Wabote says the refinery will boost the output of Nigeria's oil refining space. When you dimension it, if you take the uh, daily consumption of uh, petroleum product in the country, uh, which is uh, put at about uh, almost 65 million liters of various products that are consumed uh, in the country uh, daily, uh, this refinery in a year will uh, refine about 271 million 
uh, liters of various products. We are talking about AGO, uh, we are talking about uh, NAFTA, we are talking about kerosene, and we are talking about HFO. So it is inching into that contribution. And the aspiration in terms of the modular refinery concept as envisaged by government is to be able to refine almost about 250,000 barrels of production in uh, oil and gas production in the refining space. So it's a gradual process. We've started it. We took a leap of faith with confidence uh, after analyzing the economics and the feasibility of it to partner with Walter Smith to do so. As you recall, as said by my boss, the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, we are into partnership with all the four modular refineries that are scattered uh, within the uh, oil producing areas where we can get feedstock easily. So those are ongoing and we believe that within the life of this administration, we will increase the modular refining capacity to almost about 80,000 barrels per day. Another high point of the event was the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding by the United Nations Industrial and Development Organization, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and Walter Smith for an Industrial and Innovation Park. It, that we provided technical support to Watersmith in the preparation for the project, doing due diligence, supporting the feasibility of the project and providing all the technical support, so the technical support needed for the project to be launched and to be taken to fruition. So this is in our capacity at the UN, UNIDO and myself, we are really very happy to be an, an, an ECA, we are very happy to be associated with this project which role is really ensuring that Nigeria move from importing uh, oil for to, to really having raffinal product for its population. But in so doing, it will contribute to, a sub to uh, the acceleration of regional integration in West Africa. Operating in that, in that place, we have uh, built our infrastructure for our survival. Because as you can see, this is in the middle of nowhere. Now, so we, pro we provide our water, we provide our electricity, we provide security for ourselves here, and we have been engaged with the community. So simply, we then said, okay, when we're going to do the refinery, we basically expanded that, that extended this, this, this facilities to this refinery, which you see we have now done. Now, so what we simply thought was, look, if we can do this, why can't we then scale it up and build out the infrastructure that you can see now? What you saw signing today was we then sat with Unido and said, why don't we work together with you to, as technical support to help us develop an industrial park? You know, where we're not just using the industrial park for ourselves, we will be the anchor tenants in the industrial park. However, we can then make the facility available to other companies to locate here as well, and they can enjoy the same services. The second phase of this facility, which is going to be a 45,000 barrel, is going to have a lot of products that will transit into petrochemicals and from the petrochemicals you have a lot of companies that will use process the byproducts of those petrochemicals into various uh, uh, industries. You have the pharmaceutical industry, you have the plastic industry, you even have the car industry. We are discussing with some manufacturers to come in here and site their plant because we are going to guarantee 100% electricity to specification of every industry. We were involved with Walter Smith at a very early stage. We uh, supported with the co-development. Uh, when, when permits and licenses were get, getting acquired, we were heavily involved with the Department of Petroleum Resources. Then we did uh, a lot of the early stage engineering, the feed and detailed design. And then with the consortium uh, between V-Fuse and the local Nigerian company, Lambert Electromech, uh, we ended up taking the EPC turnkey project, which we are very proud to say that we did it ahead of schedule and uh, on budget. Not because we're here, I gotta confess that Walter Smith has been one of the most professional companies and clients we've worked with. Uh, they had a team, 
that really listened uh, and had a very good plan on to how to take a project from an idea phase all the way to operation and maintenance. We appreciate what is happening here today because clearly that is going to bring back uh, uh, instead of importation, it will bring everybody home now, you know, to pro, uh, produce this product, you know, and localize it. We always said that without local production, there's no way the regulation can stand. You can't free the market where you continue to import and subject it to uh, foreign exchange. Before now, we were seen as additional members of the Niger Delta region. But with this today, you can see that we are completely part of the Niger Delta region. For a refinery to be built here, for a refinery to be built in this state, means a lot to this state, to this country. The value is unquantifiable in the sense that for a long time we've been praying and, and then asking God to give us something like this. So it has a multiplier effect, there will employment, there will peace in the community, and the restive use are going to find something doing. And may God make it fruitful and make it beneficial to all of us in Imo and Nigerians at large. Value addition indeed. Value addition indeed. Expectedly, such a project should by now, the impact and impulse of such this project should by now be bubbling in the community without it is not without some social impact at least the mentality of people in the community has been changed yeah in a few period now we shall be commissioning our ultra modern market courtesy of water smith we shall be commissioning our school innovation Laboratory, teachers' house, exam classes, halls, courtesy of Walter Smith. We shall be the first community in the whole of Imo State to own a functional secretary, a story building. Walter Smith is doing that. So, you know, we think that it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a, um, a risk worth taking and we're very pleased with, uh, with, with it. And we think that um, that's going to be a great motivation for us to do the expansion. And that's a wrap on CNBC Africa's highlights of some of the memorable moments from Walter Smith's commission in the office 5,000 barrels per day modular refinery and of course the groundbreaking ceremony of its 45,000 barrels per day refinery here in Ohaji Bema, Imo State, Southeastern Nigeria. Thank you for watching. From myself and the team, it's goodbye.